I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on periodic functions. The question is, explain the difference between cycle and period of a periodic function. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now what is a cycle? So let me sketch one periodic function for you and I am not going to sketch a sinusoidal function for you. I will just do some, some random, right? So let us say this kind of function is there. So, but it repeats, let us say it repeats and it's like this, correct? So, so let us say this repeats like this, okay. So that is the function for us. Now, in this particular function, you have to tell me what is a cycle and what is period. If you can tell me that, then we know exactly what is the difference between the two. Now, period or time period, let us say this value here is t and this is, uh, let us say, amplitude a, let us say height, okay. So height is a function of time, so we'll write h of t. So in any function, we have independent variable along the x-axis and dependent variable along the y-axis. And then you get a two-dimensional function on the paper. Now in this particular, what is a cycle and what is a period? Now to help you answer this question, let me tell you what is a cycle. Cycle is a portion of graph that repeats. So cycle is a portion of graph. That repeats. That is a cycle. So what is repeating here? So what we see here is this portion of the graph from here to here repeats, right? So that portion of the graph is the complete thing, is the cycle. So when we talk about a cycle, what are we referring to? We are referring to h of t, the values. With this. So we are saying, how is the height changing with time? And that is what is repeating. So a cycle here is the portion which I have shaded, right? And what is a period? Period is along the independent variable. That's the horizontal duration. <clears throat> After which a cycle repeats. So if you look like this, then you clearly know what is the difference between the two. Otherwise, there is always a diff I mean, difficulty in understanding it. So this time period is a period. So after capital T, which I am saying, it repeats, right? So, so this becomes 2T. Do you see that? This is T, 2T. Then the cycle repeats. So that is how cycle and period are related. So whenever we are talking about a cycle, we are more interested in the value of the function, the y value. And when we are talking about the period, it is x value. Uh, in general way, it is the independent variable. Change in independent variable is referred to as the period. And cycle is actually the change in dependent variable as a whole as a whole. The whole thing is one cycle, right? And time taken for that whole thing is one time period. That is how they are related. And I think it's very important to understand this as we move forward in understanding periodic functions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.